Hi, my name is Dan. I'm a University of California Master Gardener in Sacramento County. Have you had uh, problems in your vegetable garden with things like verticillium, fusarium wilts, root knot nematodes? Um, today we're going to show you how to take care of those problems and other pests in your soil. We're going to solarize a vegetable bed here. Soil solarization works by heating up soil covered with a clear plastic tarp to temperatures lethal to a wide range of soil-borne pests like fungi, root knot nematodes, weeds, and weed seeds. This technique is ecologically friendly and works well in the Central Valley with its hot summers. Because of the longer days and warmer temperatures, the months of June to September tend to be the most effective time to solarize soil. Solarization can be done on a flat garden bed or a raised bed like we have here at the Fair Oaks Horticulture Center, as long as you have plenty of sunlight. We chose this bed because we've had problems with fusarium wilt. We want to get it under control. Our first step is to prepare the soil as we would for planting, cleaning off debris, breaking up the soil, and leveling it so that the plastic can lie snugly against the soil, producing fewer air pockets. Soil moisture is important as wet soil conducts heat better than dry soil. So the next step is to irrigate the soil to at least 12 inches deep. Moisture also makes soil pests weakened by this heat more vulnerable to attack by beneficial soil microorganisms during and after treatment. Next, select clear plastic that is about 2 mils thick so it's not susceptible to tearing from wind or animals. If possible, you can purchase plastic with UV protection so it is less likely to deteriorate before removal. The closer to the soil surface the plastic is, the better the heating. To do this, dig a small trench around the garden border. Then lay the plastic out over the area with the edge in the trench. Cover that edge with soil to hold it down. Then pull the plastic tight from the other side and bury that edge in the trench. Do the same with all the edges until the plastic lies flat with the soil. Allow four to six weeks of soil heating. This is usually sufficient to control most soil pests in the top six inches of soil. After this period of time, remove the plastic. Take care not to move the underlying soil to avoid bringing viable weed seeds and pathogens to the surface. To prevent further contamination with soil pathogens, purchase disease-resistant vegetable varieties, labeled VFN. Also, when possible, use tools that have been disinfected and avoid contamination with other soils. And before you know it, your soil will be free of pathogens and you can enjoy this wonderful Garden of Eden.